So, uh, Sex in the future will be much milder. There'll be very few people that are oversexed. Uh, sex will be accepted as normal, just as going for a walk or whatever it is natural to do. People will have sex, but they won't talk about it. They won't say, gee, I just had sex. They wouldn't be saying, was it good? You know, none of that anymore. So everybody, you won't have to seduce girls. They'll have sex because they want it. Will people exploit animals in the future for their fur or food or anything else? I don't think so. I think they will move toward organic vegetarianism. And I think that that will feed more people and uh, be less toxic to the environment. Most of the incentive will be based on similar values, meaning you put an end to war fights, arguments, and all that will be obvious as compared to today's society. And people will feel good because they got rid of a lot of the interference factors in language. They will learn to communicate more accurately. What's the incentive in the future? The incentive is the accomplishment of the end of arguments and, and disputes. People will be able to communicate their ideas to other people so that they'll understand them. What's the incentive if there's no money? The incentive is the observation of the end of stress between people. That's the incentive. The stress comes to an end and they learn how to communicate and they're satisfied with other people understanding what they mean, not interpreting what they mean. What steps have been taken toward a resource-based economy? Well, first we have to introduce people to what it is and why it is. And if they understand it, then we can go into more detail. What First have we, we done so far to introduce a resource-based economy? We've been doing it all along, answering questions. What about books, movies, videos? Yes, we'll use books, movies, videos, diagrams, whatever will help people understand putting it together. Oh, it will not be subject to interpretation. Okay. Who among government official or agencies or famous people support the Venus Project? That I can't answer. I think that famous people are, are victims of culture just like everybody else. What comes after resource-based economy? Everything changes, nothing is static. What will be the future after future? Well, I think the language will be improved considerably. And there'll be shortcuts in language, explaining systems. In other words, if a person says, what is a resource-based economy? It would go to sharing all the Earth's resources amongst all the different people of the Earth. There is no such thing as priority groups that get advantage. Okay. You almost hundred years. We wish you a long life, uh, but all wonder what will happen to the Venus Project after you will be gone. Will we continue? Who will continue promote it? It depends on how well people understand it, whether it continues along the lines of the Venus Project. For example, the Venus Project must do certain things. So if people ask me. Can anybody else take over and do what they want to do? No, the Venus Project must invite all nations to participate in the restoration of the environment as near a natural condition as possible. They must do that. It must be all-inclusive. All the nations, separate nations, have to become one people that agree to take care of the oceans, the atmosphere, and the forests to restore them. And if they agree to that, 
then it would be the Venus Project. But if they go off in some other direction, where it's exclusive in Canada only, it won't work. Can it must say, be international. Can you say on, on, uh, something on people who support this right now? Do you have a group of people who support the Venus Project right now? As best they understand it, which isn't good enough. People will support it if they understand it. But if they don't understand it, they can support it. Yes, uh, if anything happens to me, the people that take over will be people that understand the values of the Venus Project and why it does what it does. Why it advocates a given direction, not any direction. Any direction will bring it back to the old problems again. Fights, disagreements, arguments. There's no argument in the fact that all the resources of the earth belong to everybody. That's real clear. They can't alter that. And all of the nations will eventually evolve a language that's not subject to interpretation. That's absolutely necessary. Okay. Please provide examples of dramatic changes in society and people, people's minds that occurred before your eyes. Well, they will say, appear to be listening to other people and paying attention to them instead of arguing. They will learn how to share ideas and ask a person how much they know about electricity. If they know little about it, then one well-informed in electricity will deliver information. And then when a person says, what about climate and climate change? There'll be people that are climatologists that will talk to people about climate and climate change, how it works and how it affects the growth of food and all that sort of thing. What I'd like to see I would like to see groups of people read the book, The Best That Money Can Buy, at meetings, chapter by chapter, so that people understand each chapter. So they discuss it up and back. I'd like to see that as the instruction manual for understanding the Venus Project. And those that understand it best will, will tell them in, by reinterpreting what they don't understand to something they do understand. With the Venus Project, we can do it. We can put an end to conflict, fights, verbal disagreements.